How many times have you sent an email too early? Missing an attachment, or even worse, to the wrong recipient? You hit send and immediately realize the mistake. In exchange, you can try recalling emails from Outlook. However, it hardly ever works. Sending a recall is like telling recipients to open the email and spot the error. When developer message recall changes this. Running at the server, it provides a time window during which users have the opportunity to reliably recall emails without the recipients ever knowing. When developer message recall is installed on Exchange 2007-2010 hub transport servers. When a local user sends a new email, this is queued at the transport for a short period of time, during which a user may choose to take it back. If no recall request is submitted, the email is delivered to the intended recipients. In case of messages sent in error, the sender recalls the message from Outlook as usual. However, the recall is now handled by one developer message recall. Everything is processed at the server, and the original email is deleted without the recipients ever knowing. What's best is that this works equally well for all emails, whether sent to local or foreign recipients. This idea is based on the fact that most often a user realizes an error was committed as soon as he clicks send. Recalling emails by its very own nature is a race against time. If not recalled immediately, chances are that recipients open the email first. Unfortunately, no software solution can change this fact. So, at one developer, we focused on the time window when recalling makes most sense. Let's go to the Win Developer site. From the download section, select Win Developer Message Recall. Fill the form and download. The application has to be installed on each Exchange 2007 2010 Hub Transport server. There are no additional software requirements beyond that. The installation itself is very straightforward, so we quickly complete this. Here is the configuration. From here, we set the length of time emails are to be held at the queue. This is the time window during which users may recall emails. Our research showed that users who already know how to recall normally require less than 30 seconds to recall the email just sent. Next, we determine what happens if a recall cannot be satisfied at the server. Recall requests can either be deleted or delivered to their intended recipients. In this manner, we can choose to combine when developer message recall with traditional recalling where recipients receive an email telling them that the sender would like to recall the message. At the bottom, we find the override section. Here, we can specify different recall settings for different email categories. For example, we could disable recall handling for internal emails and only employ the product when emails are addressed to foreign recipients. Overrides will be the topic of another video tutorial, so check our YouTube channel for more on this. Moving to other configuration categories, let's take a look at archiving and logging. Archiving saves each successful recalled email to disk before deleting it from the transport. If necessary, we could resubmit deleted emails simply by moving the email file to the Exchange Pickup directory. Logging allows us to keep record of each recall request processed. Here we find all the key information including the sender, recipient, subject and whether the recall was successfully completed. Let's open Outlook 2010 and recall an email. We can do the same with all other Outlook versions. Even if the interface looks different, earlier Outlook releases provide exactly the same functionality. 
So here I am simply sending a test email. And recall it as we always do in Outlook 2010. We get the usual recall options. All of these are supported by Win Developer. We keep the notifications checkbox set. Here is the success notification from Win Developer message recall. It looks identical to the notifications generated by Outlook. Going back to the server, here is the archive directory. It contains the original email just deleted by the recall. This is the log file, showing that the recall succeeded, the subject, sender address and recipients. This completes our video tutorial. We encourage you to download our third day evaluation and try it out. Also, check the links shown here for more video tutorials. Until then, thanks for watching.